Hi, this is Josh Hines. I'm going to talk just a bit on a message from my book. On the section on goal setting, I'm going to talk about goal cards. Again, the book is It's Your Life, Live Big. And the particular lesson on goal cards, usually I teach the system, I'm going to say this, usually I teach the system on 3x5 index cards, uh, really for two reasons. One, they're easy to carry around and there's no excuse not to have them. And that's really one of the keys. When you want to get something accomplished, you, you got to have it nearby. Simple as that. Also, there's a real low barrier to entry. Um, if you can't afford a pack of 3x5 index cards, somebody will give, them, give you them. And really, it does take your, your commitment, just like anything. It takes a, a very basic, but a commitment to staying in the activity. So that's the way it works. So I'm going to go over real quick. This is part of a larger presentation that I usually give. Usually sometimes I'll do it as a standalone workshop. Um, and so we're going to hit it real quick. We're going to hit every point. But the cool thing about it is you're really going to know how to use this system if you decide to do that. Okay. So I want you to imagine this is a 3x5 index card. For, for teaching purposes, obviously, it's a you know normal sheet of paper, but the, the same concept will work. So really it works like this. In the top, you want to have your, three, your main goal or objective, and that's exactly what it sounds like. So let's take a couple examples. Let's say you want to spend more time with your loved ones. Uh, you would write that. Maybe you want to have a career goal. You would write that just real quick. Whatever it is, you put it there. And then you want to have your, your targeted time for completion date or target time for completion would go on the other side of the card. And again, that's exactly what it sounds like. It's, it's going to give you a time scale to work towards accomplishing. And I always like to say right here, you want to give yourself enough wiggle room. If that you come up short, you don't just start kicking yourself and beating yourself up over, oh, I didn't get my goal or objective accomplished. The world's going to come to the end. It doesn't work like that. It's not that big of a deal. It's a targeted time for completion. So we just you just keep working at it until you do it and you'll get there, okay? And then the other part at the bottom, this is a key thing really. Um, and a lot you want to have what I call a statement of why it is that you want to accomplish the goal you've written down. A lot of people sometimes they'll say, well Josh, you know that's that's repetitive. Why do I have to write that down? I've already done that in the at the top on the main goal or objective section. And I would just say that there's a whole host of reasons but the but the key thing you want to remember is that Life is going to, as, as you're well aware, life's going to pull you in all kinds of directions. It pulls us all the time and buys for our attention. And so you want to have a really strong statement where when you read it or it, it passes your eyes, it, it, it goes beyond just what you'd like to do and says, this is why I want to do this. So let's again, let's look at some examples. Let's say our main goal or objective was to, to build stronger relationships, uh, stronger family relationships, for example. Well, your main goal objective would be, it's going to make me feel more fulfilled when I do that. When I'm, when I, as I accomplish that, I'll feel more fulfilled. I'll have a, you know, I'll, it'll, the time that I spend together, the time that me and my family spends together is, is going to, is going to, like, is going to be an investment in the future. Uh, again, I hope you get the point that I'm saying. It could be any particular goal. The point is, you want them to be descriptive, whatever it is. And so, let's say if it's a career goal. It's one thing to say, I'd like to get advancement in a job, or I'd like to increase sales X number of dollars. But your statement of why it is that you want to do it could be something like, the reason I want to increase sales is because it'll allow me to spend more time with my family. It'll allow me to get a, a, a particular vehicle that I'm interested in, or, or allow me to take a trip that'll be a, this huge life experience. And, and the, the real reason, so that when you hear it, so that when you read it, it, it wakes this part of you that says, you know, it's going to take a certain amount of time to do this, but it's worth it. This is what I'm going to get to do it, so it's really worth it. And then the key, the thing, one of the things that ties it all together, this whole thing, and really makes it work, is the section in the middle of your chord, which is really an ongoing thing. It's your ongoing commitment. It'll help you stay in the activity and be a part of what it is that you want to accomplish. And that really is what I call is just action steps. And, and they're, they're real actions that as you do those things, they're going to take you a step and another step and another step closer to seeing what it is that you wrote at the, in that main goal or objective, making that become a part of your life. So again, in the example of the, the two examples we gave, you know, you want to spend more time with your family. Well, and, and you've gone through all those other steps. 
what are some action steps you do? Well, one would be really scheduling time with the person you want to spend. Taking the time to write some dates out, some you know, spending time, activities you can do. Um, being intentional about doing the things you know you need to do that will get you to where it is you want to, to where you want to be. Really do, and then so, so writing those things out, taking the time to plan them, and then most importantly, taking the time to check them off and do them. Okay? And then the other example of you know, increasing, increasing sales. Let's do some action steps. What are things that you can do? Well, instead of just saying, I'll call X number of people, take the time to write those people's names down. Take the time to write down activities that you can do. Go a step further and, and, and be intentional. Be, you know, write down what you want to do so that when you have your card and so when you look at what you need to do, instead of it taking a whole bunch of thought, it literally just gets down to a point where you can just do that activity and all of a sudden you're done with it. And the cool thing about it is as you get those things done, you're going to get this sense of accomplishment and it's going to feel great. And as you get those wins down in your life, you, your belief system grows. And as your belief system grows, all of a sudden what seemed extremely hard, monumental, just this crazy task that you couldn't possibly do, somehow shrinks down and, and because your belief system changed. You began to believe in yourself and it became easier. And, and that's the cool thing about doing the actions and, and being a part of it. And then all of a sudden you get to this point where you look at this, this card and it's in your life. And that's really what happens. So obviously it's an ongoing thing because it's not a, most things are, that, that are worthwhile are not a matter, let's be honest. They're not, they're not a matter of just doing one thing or just you know, going through the motions and, and all of a sudden they show up. They, they take activity. They've got to be a part of the process. But, but this will help you. If you'll make this, this or, or some kind of stuff like this a regular part of your routine, Again, remember, remember the little saying that I say a lot, I, I use this a lot, it's we can decide to either live by choice or chance, okay, but choice is going to serve you a whole bunch better, you're going to find. And the cool thing about it is it, it's pretty easy to do things by choice with that exercise I just gave you. So I hope you found it helpful, hope you use it, okay, ideas are a dime a dozen, but, the, but being able to execute on the ideas that you, that you learn in your life can make a huge impact on it. I want you to remember it's your life. Live big.